My name is Jessica Sabo, and I'm an arachnologist, a biological illustrator, a master's student, and a TA, teaching assistant. We study chelicerates here, which include all arachnids, plus sea spiders and uh, horseshoe crabs. I am studying the biodiversity of spiders on urban green roofs in Portland, Oregon. We're looking at uh, whether or not green roofs are currently providing habitat for wildlife and we're using spiders as a, a bioindicator to tell us whether those habitats are successful. We have pitfall traps uh, set up on the green roof so anything that just walks by will fall in and so then we have uh, collect them and we go through and we pick out the spiders for me and someone else is looking at the beetles. So we pull out all the spiders and then I will look at them under the scope and identify them. Um, first I'll identify them to family and once I get the family separated out then I'll try to identify their genus and species and also um, the male to female ratio. To tell if a spider is male or female, um, Generally, females are larger than males, but the real uh, obvious way to tell is to look at something called their palps, which um, are appendages that are not legs that are right next to their face. And uh, on the males, they are much, much larger. Um, they actually have a large bulb shape at the end, where on, on females, they're just little, small, they look like small legs. Even with the advanced technology we have um, with cameras and, and computers and megapixels, um, it's still difficult to get a very good photograph of something so tiny um, as the palps. And since those are the species defining characters of these animals, um, we really need to be able to see them clearly in order to identify the species. Um, so while we can take photos under the microscope, uh, the depth of field is so shallow that only uh, one part of it can be in focus at a time. Um, so other than using focus stacking, uh, illustration is really the best way to, um, to visualize those structures. In addition to my technical illustrations, which I do here at the lab, I am also uh, an artist and I do my own illustrations of um, mostly insects and spiders, but I do other animals as well. Sometimes I just see an insect or a spider or animal and think, wow, that's really cool looking. I want to draw it. I also like to draw things that maybe people have never seen before or are not that familiar with or might, they might think that are scary or gross. An urban ecology question is, is you know, what are our cities doing to the surrounding wildlife and, um, and green spaces? And can these uh, green roofs provide some sort of analog to that habitat? And so knowing about the creatures that might be living up there can give us um, you know, keys to, to figuring out how we can implement these, um, the green roofs or wildlife corridors or parks or whatever into our cities.